Hello there everyone, Mediocre Otaku here, and today we're going to be looking at the limited edition for Made in Abyss. Um, this is a series that I have not seen in its entirety. Um, like most series I get into nowadays, I watch the first couple of episodes while it's, you know, airing, and then I'm like, this is, this is too much work. I don't feel like waiting every week for a new episode, so I just end up uh, taking a break from it till it comes out, and then I'm, I buy it. <laughs> um, this is on sale for like a hundred bucks on Right Stuff, and I could not pass that up. Um, so now we get to open this bad boy, and Sentai really went all in with this. They have been doing some fantastic work with their limited editions lately, so uh, if anyone from Sentai is watching us, thank you. And I know they've seen at least one of my videos uh, when I did the Legend of the Galactic Heroes unboxing. So you open it up, and you get this really just gorgeous artwork in here. Try to lift this up without dropping all the, the contents out. Like, look at that. Um, there's this, which was uh, on the bottom of the box. I took it off and just figured I'd store it in here. I might actually just put it in this extra box. Um, speaking of that, I'll pull out the box with all of the extras in it, and apparently everything else will fall out with it. Um, so I'll put this over to the side. So yes, this has... All the extra little goodies that Sentai decided to throw in. Some pretty nice artwork all around. So it feels kind of like construction paper, which is better than regular paper, so I guess that's good. <laughs> um, so opening it up, we get a lanyard, which shows the characters and somehow I don't know how the hell they even did this they managed to put this on the lanyard in a bag which is I, I've never seen anything like that before um, it really threw me off um, and then the, the other side of the lanyard has just the Maiden Abyss logo there so that's pretty cool um, we also get, and I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it looks like something that you can stand up, and it feels like it's metallic, and this is what I'm guessing the stand is, but, um, it's, it's not a magnet, I'm pretty sure that it's kind of heavy to be a magnet, but there it is, <laughs> um, and then we also get a map thing, which I don't really want to take out, but it is the same artwork we see on the sides of the box that everything is housed in, so you get the idea. Um, so that's everything that comes in the extras box. Um, pretty cool little things, but that's, that's not all. Um, kind of a pain in the ass to get this stuff back in there after it's taken out. Um, I end up usually just, like if there is a box with stuff in it, I usually just leave the stuff in there and take the stuff out once in a while to look at it, but I don't really do much of anything with it most of the time. Um, so we also get this booklet, kind of like an art book. Um, it has kind of like a, a Play-Doh-y smell to it, which I, I mean, I like the smell of Play-Doh, so that's cool with me. Um, yeah, here's the table of contents uh, with commentary. I don't know who did the commentary. Um, but yeah, then we get some character design stuff. And I don't know what this crosstalk stuff really is, but... Um, So, some episode summaries. 
which are still going on here. Some cool artwork. And I guess this is, this is the uh, cross table thing, which I'll probably actually read that later because I'm curious what that is. Um, and then last but not least, because it is kind of important, we have the actual series itself. Um, I think this is just the... Is this the standard case that they used for uh, the regular release? That can't be right. I don't think it is. I feel like I've seen different artwork elsewhere. Um, but yeah, front, spine, back. It is region A only. A uh, ton of special features on here from the looks of things. So that's kind of cool. Um, probably actually check out some of those as well. So a lot of times I don't really look into the uh, special features. Then we have disc one and disc two. And there is, it's not really artwork on the back, but I mean, oh, there actually is. <laughs> um, all right, so there's this. I thought it was just some sort of cool fancy design. And there's this. And there's a nice, sturdy Blu-ray case, which I highly appreciate because and like I do understand making those flimsy ones saves plastic and it does save money for the people making the blu-ray cases but like really I want something that's not gonna like fall apart on me um but that is everything included with this set I'm really glad that I managed to get it for such a good price um I think normally it's like a hundred 20 or 130 bucks so which is not terrible considering how nice of a special edition this is like I, I would pay 120 bucks for it um but nice to save money where you can um that'll do it for this video guys thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time